Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Air Styles 4. Quill Korea is the best China. We don't have a lot of manpower right now because we helped the Oriot out with uh, one of their wars, which technically they lost. Um, but we, we did gain some territory um, as part of fighting in that war, so, you know, it kind of worked out for us. Standardized uniforms? absolutely. freaking lootly. We got our 40% professionalism, I guess. Um, yeah, better drilling, so... We're going to have to decide if we're going to do that. I guess we're not going to jump in on this war right away. So yeah, let's go ahead and drill you and drill you. And technically, all my armies are now drilling. We have no one on rebel stomping duty. We do have some unrest, some rabble, rabble, rabble. But they're pretty far away from anything happening. We have another decision. Abolish, oh, abolish the standardized uniform. No, we'll just go ahead and hide that. Someone wants to buy some of our maps? Sure, that's fine. Although, I think we may have already been prestige capped. I mean, training right on a border with a potential enemy is a little dangerous, because they could decide to jump on us, but I don't think that's really a concern. Um, yeah, no one's actually in a coalition against us, right? No. So it makes it very unlikely anyone's going to pull the trigger. Oh, we have money. So what we have to do here, because we missed it, is we need a manufactory on this province over here. It's got Korean culture, it's got eight development, it just doesn't have its manufactory, which is gonna take a million years to build, which is very frustrating. But what can you do? Um, sure, you can have that. Now, these production centers, ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I think it still makes, it makes money to spend, to buy those as quickly as possible. Because the sooner we get it, the sooner they pay for themselves. Ooh, meritocracy, okay good because we could use a boost yeah we're not enacting a decree right now um 80 mandate for this was the first one 70 maybe i'm wrong 50 of diplo power admin power yumping so this would fire for someone else noble houses inhabit sending tributary missions to us claiming to represent the lord and they getting an advantage this time however two such missions arrive at the same time which made their conflict from home erupt into bloodshed Sign the two factions dif different tribute destinations. Theoretically, we get the double dip. I don't know. Thematically seems to work. I don't know. Maybe the other button would have been cooler, but I kind of like the idea that we're just going to double dip here. Um, I'll put a second person on subject countries. We have a lot of them. We'll try to keep it up. Gold? You know, we're not going to get take advantage of that directly, but still. Um, although, are we going to get gold fleets? We might. Do we have a ton of merchants available? Holy cow. Well, um... We, it's time for us to start a merchant over in this trade node. Still not the most valuable, but yeah, we'll pull trade the correct way. Um, and likewise over here, transfer trade power that way. So a little more valuable. And this might be where we start putting our trade fleets. Most likely we're, what we're going to want to do is war in Mexico so that we can gain some territory one way or another. Tondo Tributary is being attacked by Spain. Castilian Canada. Um, no, this is a little annoying. Yeah, we'd lose mandate and everything. All right, we're going to have to take, say, yes to this. Um, okay, our army automatically starts to stop drilling, which is nice. Spanish territory over there. This might just be a good time to kick Spain out of some of this. And get Spanish ships over there. All right, fine. Uh, don't we have more needed yet? Oh, no, just the two fleets right now. Okay. We'll pop them out, get them moving for now. I might merge them up to do our transportation in a very safe way here. I like how we have two flagships. Yeah, and then we can automate them. All right. Yeah, one giant fleet just for maximum safety as we transport our, our people. So all of our forts are up, which I guess is fine. Another seat in Parliament is required. Minority expulsion cancelled. Oh! They took some land over here. Right, yeah, that makes sense. There's going to be a lot of fighting overseas, which actually might be the most valuable thing. If we can go... and um, take some territory over here. 
that would be lovely. I don't know if that's something that's in the cards or not. That would be really nice. I might, do, might need to subsidize my overseas people a little bit more. We've done some, but not too much. Uh, another colony. Good riddance. Korean Mexico! Nice! We did have enough over here. Lovely. So, let's keep working on embiggening you. Korean Mexico. And yeah, you know what? I will give you subsidies right away. There we go. Whether or not you can use that for um, colonization, I don't know. But you could buy some troops early. Alright, so we've taken you. Uh, what am I going to do? Hold on. This fleet here. Well, I guess land anyway. And that is being see that buzz siege down. Okay. Over here, really? Okay. Oh yeah, and they have a bunch of dudes there. Okay, still. Let's do this. We'll have a bigger fleet. Um, protect our trade. Upset someone to give some power. Oh, uh, whichever. Doesn't matter. Uh, that's a lot of money. A gift. Courture. So, gain a ton of money. Some prestige. Lose some mandate. Lose corruption. Now, we'll take we'll take the money. Go on. Take the money and run. Um, we're going to go and spend the money on workshops. So first, all the cheaper places, because they have the level 1 temple. All right, done. I think that is worthwhile. Uh, this is going to be a pretty long war, I just realized. Let's um, raise war taxes. Excellent. I wonder if any of those were colonies that I could just steal. No. Can you cancel your movement? I'm also going to go and free up this leader. Maybe, yeah, you're getting some attrition, but it's not going to be too bad, because we actually control a few of these little islands here and there. Um, we can get a military tech level. Let's do it. New type of cannon. Um, yeah, I think that's worth just upgrading to right now. I lose a bunch of manpower, or lose rep and get devastation. I'm going to take the manpower hit, even though we don't have a lot of it. Nice. Okay, that's a bigger fleet. It's mostly transports, and we do have tons of dudes. Oh, they land there. Well, that's not going to work out too well for them. Um, although, let me move... Yeah, we're going to land here instead, so I don't do an amphibious landing, although they've moved out of the way, but there we go. We've done that anyway. Let's go and kick them out of here right away. And we're capped on admin. And we can't use that to tech. Uh, Southern Kyushu. You know what? I think what we'll do is we'll grab that. Because that's Japan. We're going to take more of that territory. Yeah. There we go. Spend you there. Yeah, come here. Eject all these ships. Uh. Yeah, we can just fight as is. That's going to be okay. Uh, we don't have an admiral here. Let's get one. Because it could help us win a little bit more decisively and maybe capture more ships. Lost to colonialism CB against um, uh, against Scotland. So, oh, we have no leader. There we go. Are we really not? Oh, no, we are going to catch you. Hopefully we're going to do okay here. I don't have as many cannons that I would like to really max out our damage, but what can you do? Desires of the flesh. At least we know a fair between, oh, our consort and an artist. Lose money, lose... I'll just take the prestige hit, it's fine. And we should maybe win this? I mean, I know we have penalties. Did we lose the naval battle? <gasps> Seriously? 
They didn't have any heavies or anything. Okay, we, we won the ground battle, which is nice. I don't think this guy can really run away, so it's probably just going to move there, and then we can hopefully stomp him. Huh. I have to start building some heavies here. Can we just stack these, wipe these guys, please? Thank you. I mean, I know some of our ships are damaged. I know we have a lot of transport ships, but still. Upgrading? Um, some ships can be upgraded. Actually, let's group. Uh, first the heavy. And then these lights split you in half. Upgrade half the lights. Okay, remerge you up. I have to spend more time repairing, but that's going to be okay. We might be able to walk over there. And we're capped on Monarch Power again. Man, the admin just comes in quick. Oh, we can invest. Um, yeah, let's do it. Furnaces. They are interesting. Production efficiency. And we'll do it. 25 years ahead of time. What is our... Um, our focus is on admin. Because we had the idea. The thing is, we're not, we don't have an idea group we're working on now. It's going to be quite a while before it comes up again. Uh, do I want to... I might just want to remove the focus. I'll just remove. I realize it's going to be a while before we can change again, but I think right now that's going to be kind of the most convenient. Oh yeah, our overseas places where we're sending people. Yeah, our colonists are no longer doing colonist things. It's okay, we'll send you here. Someone is separate piecing out. Yeah, our colonial nations are not doing well. The thing is, we have positive war scars. Just wondering, like, if there was any chance we could have successfully pieced with these guys right now. Um, oh, you're back. Okay. Shift consolidate so that we've got as many full regiments as we can for this battle. Oh, some of them did manage to escape. I mean, resieging that doesn't do much for us. We're going to get a river crossing and fight into the highlands here, but with a pretty big numeric advantage. Manufactories has just kicked in. Okay. That did not take long. The thing is, we do have a lot of manufactories. And you're on a full proper retreat, really. All right, well, we take this land. Because we can. You're coming along. General has left us. Should be okay. Subject is tired of war. No, uh, I'll just take the prestige. Then we're mostly capped. We'll renew this. Alone at 4%. Um, what's the normal interest rate? Is it 5%? Actually, I don't know. No, I'm just going to decline. It's fine. Okay, done and done. Yeah, let's see if we can march over to Spanish Congo. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll grab the boats, which is kind of okay. You're done repairing? Yeah, all right. Let's do it. Fleet will start going. Yeah, we definitely lost a bunch of ships. Uh, we can purchase another idea. Um, admin efficiency? Let's grab the admin efficiency. Okay. And pretenders. Um... All right, it's going to be a little annoying, but we'll just start moving that way. we got plenty of troops at home. Air is calm. Good for him. And yeah, we couldn't bring everyone at once, but that's okay. Of 
coldest period of little ice age Korean pretender rebels that's gonna be fine uh, we do still have a free merchant hold on I'm confused oh cuz we're up to eight now I don't know. well I mean I suppose you sending it to Mexico is what we still want here can't really get the South American trade unfortunately but all the North American trade, including South America, if you consider that to be a separate uh, organizational region, should come to us. So yeah, we'll have a little naval battle here, which we should win this one. Those are pure transports. There you go. So unless there was a crazy amount of reinforcements, too bad we didn't get any, uh, didn't capture anything there. So we'll land, we'll get ourselves a little safe harbor to repair our ships. We'll split here. I don't think there's going to be much in the way of threats. Uh, we have control of the war score, the war goal. Uh, you are 30... I guess they want to support my war against Spain. Is that it? I suppose that's the reasoning there. Uh, we'll repair some damaged ships. Where are you going? You can repair here, can't you? Pretty sure you can. I mean, I get that it's not territory I actually own. You there. I don't think I'll be able to go in here unless I, I get an explorer. Which might be worthwhile, actually. You know what? Let's get a conquistador. Wait, I still can't go there? Is it owned by someone else? must be owned by someone else. It must not be unoccupied territory. Oh, we only have three colonists. Lose all our manpower again. Uh, oops. And there's no way for me to dodge here. Can I get there in time to help out? You don't even have a general. Uh, I wonder if I could have dodged if I'd force marched. A little late now. Reinforcements got there just in time. Ha ha! Take that! Let's see if we can follow him down here. Uh, where the hell are you running to? At war with anyone else over here? No. All right. Oh, you're stopping there. Of course, the second that I stop chasing, you stop running. We'll arrive where? Oh, wrong person. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Wait for him to lock and just jump in on him here. Do another shift consolidate. That was pretty short. Any chance of a stack wipe? Yep, excellent. All right, come back over here, do that. We have a mission. What mission is this? <gasps> Korean self-reliance! We can do it! We finished our manufacturing! So, p until the end of the game, minus two unrest, discount stability cost, and pause a diplo rep. Unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. The, um, the unrest modifier in particular is gonna be, like, stupid nice. Alright, you're repaired merge you up here. Uh, I guess we can go and blockade, not that it really matters. Oh yeah, with no manpower, this guy can't, isn't going to be able to siege. Uh, you're going to be in some trouble here. Alright, you know what, fine. I'll take this loan. I don't know, whatever. Because I could choose not to replay, uh, repay it. Oh! I forgot I needed to do some micromanagement over here. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of prosperity and base tax. I think it's worth it. Plus, you know, positive prosperity is good for this here. Yep, renew the war taxes. 
think that was a fairly big get, actually. Not often you can spend just money for development like that. A little blap blap. Yeah, we'll finish the siege and then. Uh, you're gonna bot you. Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll start moving over here after all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lost some troops. Uh, no, they're not there anymore. Gold! And self sustaining over here. And peasants over there. Cali, California. I don't know if I'm. I don't think I've given you subsidies. I may have it once. Let's give you some. Colo, Korea. Oh, I don't have a diplomat. Yeah, we'll try to make sure to maintain a few more subsidies with some of these client states. I mean, there are some buildings we could build. But maybe I'll save a little bit for now. 25% war score. So. Uh, you're not willing to give anything up. But I'm kind of eager to just get out of this war. Hello. I mean, there's some over... I mean, maybe it's all the colonial stuff. If we switch some of that around, it might change some of these values. I don't know. I mean, we can just wait for the uh, length of war modifier to start going away. Yeah, that's fine. And then way over here. Go there. Oh, an artist died. Oh, and we can tech. Okay, well, first of all... Missionary Strength Modifier might actually, if we decide to convert, but no, I don't think we are. We can invest in a technology. We're way ahead on Diplo. Um, I mean, there's a few things we could do to spend our Diplo, I guess. Lose Mandate. Boo. We're at 28% war score. Meet up. Dock here. Um... That's not stripey anymore. We could go over here. Oh, we could go and blockade Spain directly. I don't know. I don't think there's I don't think there's a win here. You're not willing to give me anything. Oh, I don't have ten wars. Wait, I'm confused. How come I'm only two percent here? But I'm twenty I'm twenty percent here. You're the war leader. I can't negotiate with these guys. What? Why am I... What? Why am I 28% here with Spain, but not with Spain here? Alright, you know what? We'll just peace out. It's annoying. It's a dumb war that's just going to cost us stuff, and we're not really going to get anything of value out of it. Let's meet up over there and meet up over there. Actually, I'll branch off the uh, light ships immediately and tell them to go protect tech trade in this trade node while everyone else gets moved around. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, I think we're going to have to hit this button. Sabotage rip. New type of ship. I could accept another group. Maybe I should do that. 5%? Sure. Okay. I'm going to give us a little bit more breathing room. I mean, we're probably still going to do an ahead of time tech purchase, but maybe it won't be quite so ahead of time. I mean, they they declared war against our tributary. Maybe, maybe there's something like weird like that, the war goal. But, I mean, we took over as the primary. So, I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, let's bring you home. Our truce with Japan might be over at this point. It looks like it to me, which is awfully nice. Let's bring down our forts for now. Save a few bucks.
Let's go ahead and repair loans. Including the interest. So yeah, there was, we really didn't gain much from that. They just made a ton of money. I should have just said no from the start. some buildings. Troops there. Oh, how about over here? Okay, well, I think we bopped the, um, the rebels. We just have to de-siege that last bit. Yeah, making a run at Japan would be nice. Um, and we will have to embrace someone else or start embracing, because there's an idea somewhere in there that had to do with harmonizing a religion. A long way over. We have no manpower right now, so yeah, not necessarily the Russian to war. I guess the other thing we could spend some money on um, now is the uh, barrack type buildings. That actually would be a very, very good idea. Um, new land claimed, Cocos Island. I don't know, we'll take tax income. It doesn't really matter too much. And it is March. We're capped again. Yeah, let's grab this. I mean, we saved the 10%, so that's going to be something. Really far ahead of time. But hey, we've, so we got like tons of negative corruption, if it matters. Ooh, cabinet cooperation. Thank you for the power points. Don't mind if I do. Take the tax efficiency. We don't really have the state buttons to push anymore because they have such low value. I mean, we can do this and then... Oh, new world missions. Okay. Oh, we can get 100 min, although we don't really need it right now. Nicholas support for 50. Yeah, okay, I'll hit it, because we're unlikely to get more influence here. It would be nice to get the 100 admin, but it might just be overkill and losing loyalty for something that's not going to be useful. Sort of sounds kind of dumb. We can bring you guys over here. Oh, yeah, we'll have to bring you back soon. Do I want to build a fortress over here? Hmm, I don't think so. I don't think that's worthwhile. And yeah, we'll have to decide if we're going to start building some heavies. Oh uh, yeah, mercantilism is fine. Everyone's assigned. Yeah, and I think we do have to. Ooh, you are getting attrition there. All right, let's uh, split you apart. I guess the transport's done, so I could do something like move these guys. There's not very many of you, but let's move you over here. It's going to be fine. Uh, we'll drill you. Do we have another general? I, we can't drill with uh, the explorer. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll recruit another general. And then we'll start drilling with you as well. Sure, Ming. We'll give you military access. I said min power. We can dump military very nice to the strength in military. I really like that. Actually, it's probably worth doing right here. Uh, oh, yeah, that gives us absolutism as well. Mmm. Okay. I, guess I can always dump Diplo with promoting mercantilism. That's true, I gotta remember that. But the admin. Um, well, let's go to plus two stability. Send someone over here. Expel some more Corchins. There we go. Yeah, these colonial nations are pretty big here. Uh, we're sending one there already. We'll send one over here. We might be able to get some more tributaries, but mostly it enables Cali Korea over here to potentially war with some natives. You know, if they want to. Are you getting your subsidies and everything? Or just you can just develop more production so that your trade node is more valuable. That would also be really nice. Uh, whichever, it doesn't matter. I don't care that much about that event. So you're on a boat, just now you're being attrition, which is fine. Could grab more random territory over here, but kind of sort of what's the point. Um, would anybody be interested in a tribute? I can't remember if we've like built established tributary with these guys. Sure. And yeah, we can leave some of them on money right now. In fact, it'd be nice to be able to do it in bulk, change all tributaries simultaneously, but I don't think that's a button. I mean, that's the focus, which is different, yeah. Because, I mean, we're kind of captain and min, so what's the point? 
Um, oh, that's not the one I want. Oh, it's right over here. I mean, normally I'd go for Monarch Power, but right now it's actually kind of legit to do this. There's plenty of buildings we still want to do. Accepted, you're accepted, accepted, Jin is not accepted. Um, right, money, buildings. Mandate, ma I will lose meritocracy, because actually we were capped there. Did I, I may have hit the button way too many times. Seems fairly likely. Um, alright, let's go to plus three stability. Because why not? Now, manufacturers are still, whoops, I didn't actually mean to be clicking there, but I guess it's okay. Are still going to be a pretty good source of money plus extra trade goods. So they're still not bad. Again, the manpower buildings could be good. We sort of want to build everything. Wow, Shuna is really being occupied heavily. I mean, building manufactories lets us then build more of the, say, barracks later on. Um, yes to the upgrades over here. I mean, I know it's mostly transports, which aren't terribly important, but they still do matter. And we'll let, yeah, we'll let you get repaired before we move anything else. It's not like we're about to start a war with such low advanced power, although we'd probably be able to roll over Japan pretty easily. They're still allied to Dali, and it would be great to eat more with them later on, but for now, this is okay. Tondo declares war on Brunei. That's fine. Trap citizens. Oh, spend money, get two base power. Yeah. Force tributary against some people. Okay. I don't know if I need to do that. Oh, did you stop drilling when we merged you up? I think you did, actually. Kind of annoying. Actually, I might roll another general. I think I will. We can drill as well. Shu declares war on Ming. Oh, Ming, remember when you were a superpower? Not anymore, my friend. We're a great power by a fair bit. Mm, decently. We do have, um, oh yeah, the manufactories, right? But they must be spreading. Yeah. Start in Genoa. But yeah, it's definitely going to spread all over. I mean, each one of these provinces here has manufactories. <sighs> Running out of things I can do with me. We are... We have tons of state limit, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we already hit course. That's not. That wasn't even in the min dump. Uh, I mean, we only have one province over here, but there is quite a bit. Maybe we will state you, and we'll colonize this area. All right, let's do it. I know it's like a little foolish right now, but no, I think that's going to be okay. And yeah, we'll go for some colonization there. Um. Oh, there's no debate right now. Charter colonies. You know what? I don't care. Boom. Done. And I think we did go and kill a dude for that. But that's okay. All right. Um, yes, Confucianism. Oh, right. Um, yeah, let's start harmonizing. I know our harmony will be low, but that'll have to be okay. Enact a decree. Oh, yeah, I should totally do that, because I've got tons of meritocracy now. Too few seats. They'll get assigned soon. We've got drilling going on over here. Colonists are going out. That's great. Australia doing uniform uh, designs. Okay. I like support your independence or something. That would be great. Yeah, you're very loyal right now, but it could be interesting, you know? Right, let's just boost our relationship over here, see what kind of thing develops. I guess I could develop a province? You know what, this is our capital now. 
There, we'll bring up to 40 so you can fit another building in there at some point. This maybe instead of just canceling the focus, I could have put it somewhere. Royal merge with Orion died. No, let's keep that going for now. Although, I don't have a diplomat. Proceed. Oh, we'll take the base tax. I'm cool with that. Oirat. I know I keep saying, like, Orion or something like that. Oirat. Orate. Whatever. Damn guys. Yeah, there's a lot of tart, but we don't have to necessarily rush it. Ooh. Uh, meritocracy or... Well, we don't need the admin, so we'll take meritocracy. Or we don't need the prestige. We'll take the meritocracy and admin power. Truces all over the place have just ended. Just fine. Oh, and we have tons of money. Um, there we go. New seat in Parliament. That's totally okay. I mean, you could micromanage it, but I'm going to assume it takes decent places. I don't know. It's probably not the case, and I shouldn't assume it. Over here. Um, but yeah, let me let me continue with the colonies issue over here. Where's your state, Kamchaka? Okay. Oh, uh, I don't have an extra colonist. Finished a colony, but okay. I could pull some people out, but that's going to be fine. We'll just do that. And there we are, capped again. Hmm. I could have passed a, uh, a law to make it cheaper. Probably would have been worthwhile. But oh well, we'll do that, because, I mean, it's going to give us value for something. Um, let's just do trade power, advisor, half price. Well, we are going for level 3 advisors. If it was a level 3 advisor at half price, it would be good, but it was only level 2. Uh, we'll take the prestige instead of losing the tech. Although, you know, we could maybe lose the tech. Lose ducats, gain prestige. Okay. Got our drill going on. Manpower's recharging. What we'll probably do, though, is we'll probably go and buff out some of these armies, too. Bring up the ten cannons. Pair of those guys. Uh, oh, corruption. Ooh! Although, we have a lot of passive corruption decrease here. I think I'll do is I'll pull back on our Rito corruption. Not that we're spending that much that fast anyway. One too many. I think that's the wrong one. There. Just cancel a bunch of these. There we go. Do that. Do that. Bring you up to 20. Excellent. And same thing here. I mean, I know this is not optimizing for combat width right now. But it's getting it's getting more optimal. Because our combat width is like 30, so we would really want to make sure we've got that much and lots of cannons. But keep these armies a little smaller just for supply limits. And yeah, I'm okay with that. Parallel authority. None of this really matters. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. And we can tech out there for military. Although we're not capped, so we don't have to rush it. You died again. We'll go for global tariffs. I don't think that actually modifies their uh, liberty desire. So we're just getting more tariff money without actually having too much of a problem with it. New dudes spawning. Yeah, you're standing over there, which I guess is okay. And you're standing way over there, which is not okay. Let's have you come down over here. Civil War in Frankfurt. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these galleys. Not interested in them anymore. We are going to build up some heavies, though. Yeah, and I'm actually going to do it now. Let's go up to 10 heavies for now. Lost Colonialism CB. Oh, another ability. Harsh treatment talk. Autonomy change cooldown. Fort maintenance. Fort with rivals. Rival cost. Um, an edict. I don't know. Kind of like automated things. We actually might end up doing some harsh treatment stuff. Um, it's conceivable at some point, so we'll grab that. I don't know if that was really an optimal pick. Probably not. I just realized this episode's gone 40 minutes. Uh, so clearly I've been autopiloting, which is part of the uh, trying to go fast there. Wow, we have a lot of untapped naval force limit, which we should really 
go and spend as much as we can because this will pay for itself pretty well. We've also got some frigates in here that need some upgrading at some point, but mm, that's going to be okay for now. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.